I'm Adam. And I'm Kristen. And today we're at Epcot at the Land Pavilion for Snack and Ride. Kristen, I think out of all the pavilions here at Epcot that the land has the best sign out front. I do like, I've always thought, maybe I need that in my house, honestly. <laughs> Where would we put it? I don't know, but it's super in the kitchen? fun. It seems very relaxing. Oh, that's it. It is super relaxing. You know, it's yeah. like a, a waterfall wall. Okay, so we're not going to be riding Soren today, but we are going to be riding Living with the Land. Right. And it's going to be Baby Harper's first ride on Living with the Land. Mm -hmm. I know it's not your favorite ride, Kristen. I know it's no. not thrilling. No. But I love Living with the Land, so let's go on and ride Living with I the have, Land. It, me, it's probably been a good six months plus for me, so yeah, it's it, going to be good. <laughs> and Baby Harper is here, but we haven't even decided what our snack is going to be yet. We figured we just grab something from Surprise. the sun Sunshine Seasons Cafe because there's so much good stuff in there, right? Okay, let's head on in. So these balloons that hang inside the Land Pavilion, super iconic. And it's been here for a really long time. Each of the seasons, of yeah. course. Well, you know, a couple of years ago, they took those balloons out uh -huh. and people were crazy upset. Yeah, so they brought the balloons back. Thank goodness. Um, fun fact, Adam, I know it's been a while, but the Garden Grill is honestly one of my favorite restaurants on Walt Disney World property. Yeah, we need to get to the Garden Grill. I haven't been in years. The rotating restaurant where you get to look out through the scenes of the uh, the land boat ride. They it's also have characters. Ca they have characters. Yay! Yeah, it's characters. It's an all-you-can-eat kind of buffet deal, isn't it? Uh, I yes. believe. And... They have my favorites in there, Chippendale. Oh, oh. It is Chippendale. Let's go down this way. Very slowly. All right, be careful on the, be careful on this guy. Ah, living with the land. I remember it used to be my mom's favorite song. They used to have the, ah, uh, let's listen to the land we all love. Nature's plan will shine above. Listen to the land. Listen to the land. Do you remember that song? I do. Do you remember that? You know what? Um, and it's I, only a five minute wait. Yeah, this is a great place to go if it's I love your spirit jersey. <laughs> Thank you. Is this the one we found in? Oh no, we found it at Magic Kingdom. We did. Yes. Yeah. Ironically, like Disneyland it from, didn't have it. Yeah, we didn't find it in Disneyland. Uh, yeah, that's an awesome spirit jersey. You know what I miss, Kristen? I miss when each one of these boats here used to have a narrator. Remember, they used to have a person in every single boat up front who did the whole like spiel with you? Yeah, kind of like the safari. Yeah, I miss that. They took it away and they added in just a um, like a canned narration. It's still a good ride, but I miss when they actually had, they used to have a cast member right, right up in the front. And we get the front car. Surface of the land, bring 
use trap water from the flowing mud, extracting precious nutrients and minerals. These elements, when combined with sunlight, create the diverse living systems of our planet. landscape may seem lifeless, it is very much alive. The plants and animals that have learned to survive in these harsh conditions make use of what little water they can find and avoid the scorching rays of the relentless sun. The prairie dogs. The American prairie once appeared as desolate as the desert, but over time, rainwater and nutrients gradually penetrated the hard surface of this land. Even the hooves of the mighty buffalo helped create the rich soil one day become home to the American farm. Welcome to our living laboratory. 
where scientists from Epcot and the U.S. Department of Agriculture are exploring innovative ways to produce valuable harvests now and into the future. The tropics are home to the greatest diversity of plants on the planet. Many of these, like papaya, bananas, cacao, coffee and rice, are well known around the world. These are just a few of the edible plants that have been an important source of nutrition for people living in the tropics. Many are rich in vitamins and minerals, while others are well adapted to growing in less than ideal conditions. Some, like the water lily, thrive in wet, swampy areas and waterways. All parts of this plant, even the flower petal, are edible. The starchy root of the plant has long been used to make flour for baking. One day, many of these lesser-known tropical plants may be as important as the bananas growing on both sides of the boat. More bananas. than 28 million tons of bananas are eaten annually, making it the most like bananas, popular Harper? fruit in the world. See, bananas are the most popular fruit in the world. I love them. <laughs> Not so much, Kristen. They have like a little fake flame in that grill over there. While there are more than 50,000 edible plant species in the world, most of us are only familiar with the handful that make up our everyday diet. The common grains growing here, wheat, maize, sorghum, and millet, plus rice, account for nearly two-thirds of our global food consumption. Learning how to increase yields of these staples is an important goal of research around the world. Smells good, doesn't it? These plants now, are definitely on their way up. Innovative growing techniques like these fruit, increase yields stay while more efficiently oh, using resources oh, like water, fertilizer, and pesticides. Another innovation at work here is our integrated wow. pest management program. By populating our greenhouses wow, with look at those insects that those prey on farmland pests, like aphids and flies, we are significantly reducing our reliance on conventional they pesticides. They do look good, yeah. We're growing these crops using our nutrient film system. This technique precisely controls and recycles water and nutrients. With it, we can produce over 27,000 heads of lettuce a year wow. in this one small area. I just love how fresh it is. It just smells and the air is so fresh in here. I love it. Oh, yeah. Just that fresh, cool air. Yeah. It's very cool in here. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you're looking for a spot to cool so off and just feel refreshed. inspired by nature. Like these fruit and vegetable trees. Like all these fruit and vegetable trees. Better control diseases. These crops taste as good as they look. In fact, 
We serve more than 15 tons of produce from our greenhouses and restaurants here at the land every year. Look, they use Rainbird just like we do at home. <laughs> I love this room a lot. I love seeing like all of the fruits and vegetables for us. Edible flowers. Oh, mint, yeah. The future of agriculture may include innovative ideas like this vertical growing system. Plants grown in this way use a fraction of the space required by traditional growing methods. That saves water and increases production. The aquaponics system on your left combines hydroponics with aquaculture. The fish provide a natural source of fertilizer for the plant. Then the plant helps keep the water clean for the fish. It's another great way to produce more while using less. In our lab, EPCOT scientists are working with the U.S. Department of Agriculture on a number of innovative projects. The goal of these efforts is to produce higher yielding and better quality On behalf of Walt Disney World, we hope you've enjoyed this unique journey through our living laboratory. If you'd like a closer look, then check out the behind-the-scenes walking tour. I've always wanted to do behind-the-scenes. Her hair is just like, yeah, so much it's air windy. movement. <laughs> I really want to do the behind-the-seats. I also want to do that elephant tour at Epcot. Or, I'm sorry, at Animal Kingdom. The elephant tour. So many special little tours that they do. I think this winter. These greenhouses represent just a fraction of the work being done worldwide to produce bountiful harvests for our growing population. Scientists. Farmers and even backyard gardeners are doing their part to improve the quantity and quality of foods that we all rely upon. Together, we can continue to find more ways to increase food production and protect our precious natural environment. Only then will we truly be living with the land. So I think generally Harper had a good time. She, it was a little scary in the front and at the end where it's a little dark. But otherwise I think this is really good for people of all ages. All yeah. ages, all abilities. Oh yeah. So many people they have, enjoy just this little break to go through. And it's actually, some of it's really fascinating. It's so awesome. Doing. And they have special boats that you can, mobility, you can roll your wheelchair scooter right on the boat. Right, yes. yeah. Yeah, it's great. All right, we're gonna go find ourselves a snack over at the Sunshine Seasons Food Cafe, which is right here in the land. Not sure what it's gonna Everything's be. Everything's delicious. But I'm sure everything- can't go wrong. They've got some special 50th stuff too. They do. Yeah, so we'll go check it out. So if you are curious, when you exit the ride, so you can see you exit the land boat ride right here, they have a little kiosk. There's nobody here now, but this is where you can book your behind the seeds um, tour of the land. I've never done it. I've or always wanted in. to. Yeah, or where you check in. But they do do a special do do. They do a special uh, tour that you can add on purchase. That's called Behind the Seeds. It's a greenhouse tour where you unearth the future of agriculture as you explore the greenhouses at Epcot. Kristen, can we do it sometime? I've always wanted to. I'm really wanting to. Yes. Yeah. So sometime we'll have to book that. But um, that's one of those little added extras that they have here that nobody really knows about. Right. So, kind of disappointing, sunshine season is closed. Right. They just closed. It's um, 6 o'clock. They just closed at 6. 
so plan B again. It's another plan B day. There was so many good things here and uh, they're just closing. They just closed the dessert like window right ahead I guess, of us. Uh, you know, check your app. Uh. <laughs> Make sure you check the app ahead of time. And that is always good because a lot of places here are closing early now. So in the summer, six o'clock for sunshine season seems really early, but uh, oh, well. we're gonna head outside and uh, we know that there's something great out there. So we're gonna hit up plan B outside. So we've got things figured out. We have a new snack, uh, plan B. Um, just so that you don't think we're missing Soren, guys, we're gonna come back another day. We're gonna do Soren. We're gonna do snack and ride here at the sunshine season. So don't think we're skipping Soren. We're gonna come back, oh, right? coming very soon. Yeah, so Kristen <laughs> made a really good point that the, um, the apple orchard over in Canada for the um, food and wine has some really good apple tarts. So we're gonna head over and get some apple tart, right? Okay. So now the apple seed orchard is actually behind these uh, gardens here. I thought it was at this cart here. No, no, no. The apple seed orchard is back by Le Solier. Right. It really threw me off because I was waiting in that line over there for some of the food and wine booth stuff because well, they've they never- they have some signage over there that makes it a little confusing. But I'm actually kind of glad that Sunshine, Sunshine Seasons was closed because I've been telling Adam I want to try this apple tart here. Aren't these gardens beautiful back here? And nobody comes back it's here beautiful. usually. It's peaceful, it's beautiful. There's also some really cool areas here behind Canada that nobody ever goes to that they have little waterfalls. Right. So this peaceful. This really fits in with our gardens, you know, a nice apple tart to it go does. with it. Along with the land boat ride. Yeah. So the apple seed orchard is back over orchard, excuse me, is back over here. This is where the exit to the uh, the Canada 360 movie used to be. So the apple seed orchard is actually in the 360 theater, which means they've closed down the movie for the time being. Mm -hmm. Kind of sad. I loved O Canada. Yeah. See those little chairs over there? Do you think they'll let us grab our apple tart and head off over into those chairs? Oh, by the bunnies. By the bunnies over there? Probably not, huh? This is so cool. I love how they've changed the whole theater into an apple orchard. And Kristen, if you look, look, the little smokestack back there is actually smoking in that little house. Uh huh. And the birds are flying over here. You know, when I did come in here, I had really thought, even though I enjoy the movie, I think that this would be lovely for a full time like food area they have a yeah they area. have a full um kind of bar area here here and look they've got tables over here that we can go um take a little uh a little rest and have our apple tart okay so delicious here we have our apple tart we have a frozen apple pie does that have alcohol in it no okay that's just a frozen apple pie and then we have an uh apple cider hard cider that does have alcohol in it but look at that i arranged it like a hidden mickey oh very cute <laughs> <laughs> um so this looks really good it was about 475 and it's an apple tart and i'm excited to dig in so underneath there you can tell that there's apple in the bottom so it's a frozen apple pie Ooh, yeah look at the bottom can you see it yeah, how much was the frozen apple pie? This one, I think, was also four seventy-five. Let okay. me take a look real quick. Uh, it was four fifty, actually. Four fifty. Am I supposed to eat the outside of this too? Well, we just... should cut it with a knife. That would be easier. So, here, Adam, <laughs> let me cut it with a knife. That looks really good, though. Here. There we go. Yeah. So yeah. cutting it with a knife is a little bit easier. Yes. Mm. Oh, Here, so warm. now you can see much easier. Oh, it's warm. Wow. Yeah. Yeah, it's warm and delicious. See, so now I can actually kind of like use... You should use a fork for sure. Wow. So it is. It's an apple tart, kind of like an apple pie. Mm hmm Hmm. <laughs> So good. <laughs> um, you're right. I should probably get a spoon for this. Yes. The frozen apple pie. You should. But you should also try the tart. Right. I'm going to have a much smaller bite. A 
Okay, let me give it a shot here. Here. Mm. I really like that it is coming, it is warm. And they actually have pretty big pieces of apple. And the crumb topping is delicious. So honestly, if you love apple pie, or you just enjoy apple pie, you will enjoy this. And for the cost, it's not so bad. Harper wants oh. to try. Is it good? Do you like it? <laughs> we'll try a little bit. Yeah. <laughs> She's not sure. Huh. Cool. All right, so I did try a little bit of this uh, apple cider, the hard apple cider, so it does have alcohol in it. This is just a six ounce, so it's just very small. Um, what I really like about hard apple ciders is it's not very sweet. Um, I'm not really much of a beer drinker anymore, and so um, it's nice to have another option. So this hard cider is really nice, and it's not super, super sweet. Uh, this is the Bold Imperial apple cider, hard apple cider, and uh, yeah, it's nice, because like I said, not sweet, just cool, ref refreshing, delicious. Got a spoon. Got it. Okay, so now you need to dig into this okay. frozen apple pie. Hmm. It's interesting. It's a slushy. Oh, it is a slushy. Okay. It's a slushy with um, like crumbly topping. So hold on. Hmm. Out of all the slushies in our Epcot, it's probably not my favorite. It is. Um, it's got an apple slushy taste, but honestly. Nah, you should try it, Adam. You try, you let me know. Okay. Let me give the frozen apple pie a shot. Yeah, give it a try. It doesn't have, after kind of taking a few extra bites myself, it doesn't have a super apple flavor as I was expecting. So you know how when you get a frozen slushy and it's supposed to be like a Coca-Cola slushy, it doesn't really have that like Coca-Cola taste because it's frozen. This is kind of like that. I think it's definitely apple, but it's very, very- Muted. Mm-hmm. That's what I would say. It's a, it's like a muted apple flavor. Now, I didn't dig in there to the bottom. Let me get to the bottom. Why don't you get to the bottom and tell me, is there, there should be apple pieces on the bottom. Um, and not, I started to swirl it around a little bit. Oh, there it is. There's some apple pieces, yeah. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. The apple, yeah, the little pieces of apple definitely add something to it. Um, is it my favorite? No. Do I like it? Is it refreshing on a hot day? Yeah, totally. Yeah. I have to say about all the things in the in the I festival. It's kind of meh. Yeah. It was kind of meh, meh for me. I like the apple crumbles on the top, but otherwise, yeah, I give it kind of a I wouldn't come back for it. Nice. The apple tart, I would come back for it. Yeah, for the sure. apple tart as you can see, guys. I've done most of the work on this. You can save one bite for me. I'll save the last bite for Kristen, but other than that, the apple tart. Adam took care of it all, so it tells you. And we came here because I wanted it. <laughs> all right, the last piece is for you, Kristen. <laughs> now wash down a little hard apple cider. Okay. Perfect, all right, now it's your turn. Now you off. hold the baby and I take the last bite. Sounds good. Fair trade. Yes, Harper's gonna Harper, try some try slushy. slushy? <laughs> was it okay? I guess even Harper thinks the slushy was kind of meh. meh. <laughs> She's like, well, hmm, hmm. Not her favorite either, guys. Not, Sorry. <laughs> Here, let's wipe you off. And she likes, she's like me. She likes everything. So if Harper's kind of like, hmm. So living with the land never, ever, ever disappoints me. I love having uh, just like a little bit of time <laughs> in the uh, cold, fresh air. Uh, there's a little bit of science and education there that I like. Uh-huh. Uh, great place to cool off for about 15 minutes. It's a longer ride. It's about 15 minutes. Well, that's why if you need to get out of the heat a little bit, it's an excellent, excellent attraction. Uh, and then I'm so glad we came over here to the apple seed uh, Plan orchard. B. Plan B over here at Canada <laughs> uh, and tried the apple tart and the frozen apple pie because it was really good. Like you said, the frozen apple pie, mm. Okay, apple but that tart, tart I'll be back for. Delicious. 
Guys, if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please hit the subscribe button, turn on notifications. We go live every Sunday from right here at Walt Disney World and you don't want to miss it, so make sure you do that. All right, guys, until next time, enjoy all the snacks, enjoy all the rides.